Hello everyone, Kiwi Car Talk here, and today we're going to be exploring this 2012 Volkswagen Golf. This car belongs to my friend William, and it was very kind of him to let me film this. So, William, thank you very much. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the key, and let's get it started up. Ooh. Ah. So this car, so this car comes with one of those switchblade keys. So, so the keyhole, it's just, it's just down here. So let's get this thing started up, eh? Let's turn on your hazards, your lights. They're currently on. So lights are currently on automatic, but we'll just um, turn them on turn the fog light on as well so let's get out and have a look around the exterior so you got indicators here on the wing mirror there's your light and your fog lights just hiding there Stepping on plants here, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's step in and have a look at the interior. Get all that switched off. And we'll put that back on automatic. So this 2012 Volkswagen Golf has done 142,313 kilometers. Pretty solid for a 10 year old car. And because this is a Euro car, you got your indicators on this side and your wipers are over on here. So if you're wondering what this little thing at the top is, that's just to adjust your intermittent speed. That's basically it. You do have paddle shifters, so you got one there, you got one there. And here's the rest of the steering wheel. You've got some telephone controls here in stereo and some more infotainment controls here. So over on this side, you've got your wing mirrors and very, very helpful, you've got heated wing mirrors. It's definitely been in those cold winter mornings when your side mirror here is all a bit like frosty and you're a bit annoyed, but hey, the car heats it up for you. Isn't that convenient? You've also got a little blind spot mirror there, which is quite helpful. Coming down to here, you've got your window controls and your window lock and there's your central locking. Nothing more. Oh, and on here, you can adjust the brightness of the dashboard, which is quite cool. So coming around to this side, you got your Volkswagen um, default factory stereo here. So you got media and all that stuff. You got everything that you really need: phone, setup, mute, FM, AM. You also got a little aux port. But from what I know, my friend um, William just uses his phone. He pairs it, and you got Bluetooth on here as well. It's quite convenient. You can turn it off. You got that there. Coming down, you've got your dual zone climate controls. So right now it's synced. So if I were to say turn that up to say 23, it's 23 on that side as well. But what we can do is we can turn sync off and that stays at 18. And now that's at 25, for example. And just more specifically on the aircon controls, you've got your front demister there, different modes, your rear demister, circulation or fresh air, automatic, aircon, off and in sync. Your fan speed's right here. It's coming down sort of behind the gear stick. You've got a little storage spot and your traction control. Oops. Traction controls right here. Right here, you've got your seven speed automatic with, um, uh, what is it called? The Triptronic transmission right here. You've got a physical handbrake in this car and a little um, storage pocket here. So you can just store things in there. And then you've got your center console here. So you lift that up, you've got your um, various things sort of here. And just more specifically on the driver's door, you've got a little storage cubby there as well. Okay, so now it's time to have a look at the engine. So it's time to pull out the handy dandy cheat sheet. So this car features a double overhead cam 16 valve engine with 1388 cc's of displacement. 
The engine produces 90 kilowatts at 5,000 RPM and 200 Nm of torque at 1,500 to 4,000 RPM. The car is a front wheel drive car. So let's go have a closer look at the engine. So as a final sort of overall view. Okay, so let's step inside and have a look at the back. So you've got your passenger window control here. You've got one speaker and another one down there. So you've got a six speaker system on this car, which is quite cool. In terms of legroom, you've got a fair bit of it at the back. The seat isn't pushed too far forward, but I'm pretty comfortable here. So I've got a decent amount of legroom. Looking towards the rest of the back, all the seats do have adjustable headrests, along with three point belts. In terms of spacing, you can easily fit two adults in the back. If you try to fit three, two adults and a child is probably like the most appropriate combination just because if, if you put three adults, it would be quite squished. So two adults and a child, comfortable, or two adults, both are fine. Coming down to the middle here, you've got a rear air conditioning blower, which is very convenient. You can um, say whether you want air or whether you don't want air. If we pull this little thing out here, we've got a cup holder, which is extremely convenient. You got a little storage pocket there on the passenger side. And you got a little storage pocket here on the driver's side as well. So let's go around and have a look at the boot. Now what I quite like about Volkswagen cars is the boot release is the logo, which I always find really cool. Look, boom, and the boot opens. That's I can never like I never stop being entertained by that. So um, there you go. Sorry, a bit of difficulties there. So this is the boot, um, it's a pretty decent sized boot for a hatchback, you've got um, a fair bit of space, it's probably just a little hard to see because it's a bit cluttered, but it's quite deep, I will say, it's definitely quite deep, and you can fold the seats down as well, so if you do need to carry the extra cargo, fold it down, boom, you've got a decent amount of space, but even without that, you can definitely take like light luggage or camping gear or something if you're going on like a really small kind of camping trip, not like too much equipment needed, or just a grocery run, it's pretty decent, so let's have a quick look at the boot. And then your sort of final kind of overall view. As you can see, it's pretty decent size. So let's close that. Let's go have a look at the front. So you got your um, passenger window control here, as well as a little storage cubby. And in terms of um, legroom up at the front, again, there's definitely a decent amount of legroom up here at the front. This seat is sort of pushed a little forward because you know, it's at the normal kind of position. But even with that, I've got a decent amount of legroom. And if you're a passenger up here at the front, you would definitely be comfortable on a long journey, I would say. Uh, looking up here, so you've got your um, you've got your sun visor. Open that up. You've got a light. You've got your little um, kind of mirror here. Close that. Looking above here, you got your you've got your sunglass holder, you got your cabin lights, sorry, these are speakers from the looks of things. You got your light settings, oh sorry, it's not a focus. So you got your light settings there, cabin lights there. This appears to be sort of an aftermarket kind of wider camera. I'm oh, sorry, camera mirror. And she's got a phone holder here. In terms of um, I guess the driver's seat, it's definitely quite a comfortable seat. As you can see, it's padded quite well and it's decent sized. I will say that if you're a bit of a bigger person, you may find this a little constricting. But if you're if you're not too terribly wide, it should be fine. But if you are a little, if you're like on a real buff or something, then this may sort of dig into your body a little. So that's just something to be a bit mindful of. But apart from that, there's a decent amount of legroom here at the front. In terms of I guess kind of my opinion on the car, it's a solid car, you know, it's a good hatchback, it's it's one. It's a Euro car, but, so it's a Euro car, so it'll be a little more expensive in terms of parts and things if you live here in NZ, but apart from that, it's a pretty solid car, uh, space at the back was good, it wasn't too constricted, space here at the front's nice, and even when I was sitting in the driver's seat earlier, just filming the earlier part of this video, it definitely feels comfortable, it was, it's a comfortable car to drive, from what it feels like, and engine's got a decent amount of power for a car of this size, and boot space at the back's pretty decent too, so overall, I probably would recommend this car. It's definitely a good car if you live in the city and you just need to like do kind of um, errands around. If you wanted to go long, even if you wanted to go long distance, to be honest, it probably wouldn't be too uncomfortable and you'd probably be able to get around. So overall, 
the Volkswagen Golf is a solid little car. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed learning more about this 2012 Volkswagen Golf. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.